This is so smooth. It is Luxus now. Woohoo! There's the uh, car wizard himself. So what are we doing today, Scotty? Uh, we're gonna change the four accumulators in your wow, Lexus. Look how big they are, huh? Whoa! <laughs> Bigger than mine for sure. <laughs> so we're changing four accumulators. Yeah. Hopefully, reduce the bouncing of this car. I mean, truck or SUV. This big SUV. And then we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, it'll work. It doesn't guarantee. So this is Scott's garage. No guarantee on work, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> But chip labor, how can you guarantee the cost is zero? What, what, should, what can I guarantee? I will pay you, don't worry, we'll yeah. pay you. So you. You pay me zero dollar, the guarantee is zero, zero dollar. We'll return. pay you in Dodge coin. <laughs> A dog coin? A dog coin. Why are you having so much fun? <laughs> Oh, you're such a joker! I can't. <laughs> you never, you never walk on the car before. You never pump my car oh, before. I'm a virgin too. I never walk on the car before either. <laughs> I can tell, man. <laughs> About to try for the first time, uh, changing some globes, uh, which is they're technically called suspension accumulators, and um, we call them globes for now. And uh, car is very bouncy, so. Apparently, you're supposed to change the globes according to the dealer. So we're gonna give that a try and see how it turns out. Yeah. All right. So you. So go ahead, car wizard. What yeah, do we need so to do? We'll give it a try. Now, if it doesn't work, then if it doesn't work, then we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna give you a rundown on how to uh, change four of these accumulators. Right, so we bought four of these. Right. These are genuine Toyota part four accumulators. Uh, and the specs says you need 2.5 liters of this and we bought four just in case. You need to use genuine Toyota branded suspension fluid, not just any suspension fluid. Meter wrench and you could get that from uh, Amazon. It's, a, it's actually it's called a clutch fan wrench, 36 millimeter. And also a 10 millimeter for the bleeder valve and of course your safety goggles. And uh, all your drip pans. Give a hose. All right, so other tools you will need will be four floor jacks. This will just put on the subframe of the SUV, you know, just in case when you leave the pressure, it will crashing, up, crashing down on you, so make sure you get supported. Of course, the, what's jack. this? Hydraulic jack. And this two here, I use. I use it for sucking out of motor oils but this one has got a bleeder valve for the uh, brake fluid and it should also work for the uh, the bleeder valve on the accumulator or if you don't have this section two you don't need it you just get uh, like one of these two pins from your hardware store or your auto store so these two pins should also fit on the uh, the brake fluid uh, brake fluid bleeder valve or the accumulator valve so either one works fine so four sides of the uh, accumulator. So All right. We'll, so we're going to start from the rear and then we'll go with forward, forward to the front. Okay. Uh, we got four okay. floor jacks. Uh, 
just like checking up the car. About foot high. Yeah, but the wheels are still on the ground, all right? So we put on the floor jacks just for safety reasons in case once we leave the pressure on the bleeder valve, the, the car will be lower a little bit. So we just want to extra safety. There you go, put on the tube, uh, the bleeder tube here, and then just use the 10 milliliter wrench. Let's see. All right, I got that 10 millimeter valve, just release the, uh, the pressure. You can see it's coming out really for me. So it's releasing it. So it, now it's been a, a minute already, so it looks like it's still being released. So we'll did it. So as we would, uh, rele releasing the pressure from the bleeder valve. The fruit is not dropping here, so it seems like. Uh, okay, so after about a couple minutes, looks like uh, the pressure has been relieved from the again? accumulator, and it looks like the pressure is being released. And so I could tighten up the screw now. Action, Jackson. Uh, oh, oh, that was easy, huh? Okay, it's not too bad. Here, passenger side. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. There you More. Go. Oh, it's... Oh, oh, watch out. Wow. Fuck. Okay. And it leaves too fast and all the pressure just spurs. All right. Look, it didn't get in my face though. That's why I have the safety goggles on. Always safety first. Yeah, always. Otherwise, this shit will pop on my face. Uh. And this thing. Okay. Oh, you hear the fluid coming out again. Yeah. Alright, here's the growth. Man, the fluid smells like uh, transmission oil. Smells bad. Alright, that's the one. Alright, we're gonna look at it later. Okay, here's a new one. Pretty easy to screw it back on. So, that's it. The pressure has been released, so we just screw it back on. That's it. Very simple, straightforward. You guys heard about the famous pencil, pencil test? What's huh? that? That tells you if the man membrane has been penetrated. Okay. <laughs> let's right, let's so, see if she's been penetrated. All right. All right. So this is the the brand new one. Okay. Pencil. Put it in. So it's only about two inch, right? Two okay, inch. About two okay. inches. And look at the the bat one. The, the, this is uh, a bat okay. one. Look at it. So drop it in. Oh man. All the way through, huh? That is like this. Halfway at least. Six inch. Six inches. Yeah, it's oh. been totally penetrated. Penetrated. So Six that inches. Means, uh, it's it's blown. It's not a virgin anymore. <laughs> so it's a bad one. <laughs> so on the front growth, they are. This is the bracket, the bracket to the uh, or the bracket mounted on the running board. So you need to remove this bracket to keep enough clearance in order to remove this growth. Otherwise, uh, you cannot really remove the growth. Here. So we need to. There are a couple of screws mounting bracket here, so we have to remove this bracket. Okay, I got this front bracket removed. So there are actually two, these are 10 millimeter screws at the bottom. And then on the side, there were two uh, 12 millimeter. And then I was using my small socket here, 10 millimeter and then a 12 millimeter. So very easy to remove. Now I have lots of space to remove the front accumulator. So what the uh, you need to, you need yeah to so with the bracket is gone I should have enough room now to remove the accumulator so this okay I got my 36 meter 36 millimeter wrench on the the grope and then I got the oil catch pan okay just in case I'm sure there will be fruit coming out so I'm gonna catch that and so let's see here we go one two three ah! okay so we got the the grope loosened after penetrating oil. And we loosen it, and the grope is turning. So that's cool. All right, All right. the grope is turning. All right, ready? Oh, yeah. Okay, now it's. Yeah. Okay, now I can lose it. Okay.
It sure is still a lot. It still looks like Oh, yeah, there's still a lot. Okay, let's uh, keep letting it drain out more. Okay. Now it's like a little baby piece. Yeah, okay. Okay, look at it. It's loose enough now. Fruit's Stop coming it. out. Go ahead, pump it. Oh, here it comes. There it comes. Oh, baby, it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> it's coming. Oh, yes, it's coming. Oh, yes. Oh. Hey, dude, we are not having sex with the car, man. You make it, you're having sex with the car. <laughs> it's coming. Hey, up. Oh. Looking from upside down, it looks like you're having sex with the car. Man. <laughs> it's coming. Oh, looks like you're tricking off. Okay, this is the rear driver's side. Pretty easy, just dust, turn. That's on it. Alright, this is the rear driver side. Hardly, hardly any fluid comes out, so it's pretty clean. So this one is good. So we did the pencil test and this one is still good. I mean not penetrated, but you have to replace you it anyway. Verify it on the shoulder. Yeah. Pencil test. So that's about two inches. <laughs> now we uh finally this is the last one. The front driver side. So we're gonna move this bracket too. So same thing, four screws on this bracket. So we get more room here to take out this globe. Okay, we just uh, put in all four new globes now. All four new accumulators are put on and now we're gonna suck out all this old fluid using this pump here. Looks pretty thirsty. Do you need to run the car while while it's filling in the system in? Uh, later. Later. Yeah. But it's still flashing though. Okay. So, okay. So okay, I just put in two and a half quarts, and right now the liquid is sitting around here. And we are at high. Okay, go ahead, put it to low. Oh. You have to close your door. You have to sit in. Close the door, put it to low. Alright, so we fill up the fluid now we're gonna relieve the pressure as a last step. Let's see. Just uh, loosen this and then we are not gonna vacuum it, just let any air out. See if, if there's any fluid come out. There's some bubble coming out. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's cool. So Okay, once I see a, a solid flow of liquid coming out, that's the time to turn it off. And that's it. So we got all the air out. And now we're going to repeat for all other three sides and we should be good to go. No more air trapped inside. Okay, this is high. 
Go ahead, move it low. Whoa! Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, now go low. Wow. Wow! That is pretty cool. Yeah, so it, it went from it, it went from the whole the whole pen the whole pen mark here and then all the way down to half and low and then blue shows here. Wow. Alright. Very good. So it works, man. Finally it works now. It works. Oh thanks to thank one happy owner here. Good job. If it wasn't for this guy, uh, man. I'll be my head would be dizzy. Uh, <laughs> oh my head's dizzy now from inhaling all this uh, fluid. <laughs> look at you. Look at you now. Well, look at you. <laughs> I'm exhausted, man. <laughs> look at your hair. Wow. It feels so smooth. This is Lexus. It feels much smoother than my brand new RX350. Yep. Feels like a riding on the magic carpet. Okay. This is a keeper. Keeper. After four hours of hard work, we're going to have some beer to celebrate. A he's brand the man. New, he's, he's the man. A brand new lexus. <laughs> brand new lexus. Feels like one. <laughs> awesome. Good stuff.